Hey guys, Rich Bassini, your YouTube vlogger and creator here. Today, I want to show you how to stretch that music within PowerDirector 2024 Ultimate. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Here on the timeline here, you can see I have this. This is my one of my favorite songs I use for background music. It's called Tropical Fuse. And it takes it all the way back to the end over here, as you can see, right here. Okay. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to be done without, without any problems here. So let's start. Let me just stretch this timeline out. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to cut it out. And then I'm going to start just like I was getting ready to do the video all over. Okay. I'm going to drop this in the timeline on the audio track right here. And if you hover over it like this here, it's going to tell you the duration, which is 1 minute and 49 seconds long. Now, this video that I created the other day is 23 minutes long. So what you want to do is you want to go over here when it comes to stretching out the music. You're going to click it on here, and you're going to go to Edit. When you click on Edit, what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to come to here. It's going to say audio. You're going to see volume slash fade. You want to come down where it says Smart Fit for Duration. You're going to click that on. Now over here you're going to have a couple options. You're going to do the original duration, fit to playhead position on timeline, fit audio to end the project, custom duration. That's something you could do on your own. But right now for this per for all intents purposes, this video, I'm showing you how to stretch out the music. So what you're going to do is you're going to say here, you're going to click this one, fit audio to end the project. Okay. When you click OK, it's going to render. Now, depending on how long the video is, this is going to you know that's going to determine how long this is going to take to render. So we're going to let it do its thing. It's not going to take too too long, as you can see here. It's going pretty good. And then watch over here the timeline. Watching the music stretches out. Boom. You see that? That what that really went fast, okay? And as you can see, it's at the end of the video, okay? All right. That's how easy it is. Now, just want to share one little tip when it comes to uh, adjusting the volume on here. I muted my video for me, so you won't hear me talking, but you will hear the music over here. How I do it is I'll play the music, and then I come up here where it says volume. You're gonna have the minus, and you got the plus. I found that if you keep it at 21 percent. It's pretty comfortable in the background, not too loud, not too, too, you know, not too uh, low either. It's like basically in between. So here's how I do it. I'll play the video, and I'm going to go over here to the volume, and I just keep positioning to where I get it where I want. I'm looking, what I'm looking at is the decibels right over here. Watch the numbers change. Okay, now you could also do it this way too. You could also change it like that as well. 22 is good. But I found 21 is pretty good for me. And it's nice and quiet. I'm going to keep quiet for a second. You hear what I'm talking about. Okay. And over here, I'm just going to pause it. Over here, you're going to have fade in and fade out. If you want the music to fade in at the beginning, you could do that. If you want it to fade out towards the end, you could do that as well. This is what you, you know, these are the options that you could play around with on your, at your own leisure. Over here, really quick. You're going to have trim, speech to text, audio speed, speed enhancement, AI audio denoise, AI wind removal, de reverb, audio editor, audio ducking. Then, of course, you're going to have smart fit for duration. This is what you're going to want when it comes to stretching the music. And this one over here is edit and audio, audio director. Now, this here, I have the free version. So there are certain things that you could use with it and certain things you can't unless you pay up. I don't really have a need for this right now, but if you were to click this on, it will hyperlink you to another window, and then you would do whatever alterations you want to do to the music. If you want to make it more you know, clearer, whatever you want to do, you could add effects to it or whatever, and then you would hit the back button, and it'll bring you back to um, PowerDirector 2024. But for all intents and purposes, I'm not going to go in that route right now. I'm just basically showing you how to stretch the music. And the reason why I'm doing this video, folks, is for a simple reason is I had uh, a little trouble finding it at first. So I figured rather than have anybody who's got this program or video editing software, just to save you a little time and trouble, that's how it's done. That's how you have to uh, change it, or I should say stretch the uh, music that you're looking to put into your video. And if you get a chance, 
If you get a chance to check this video out, making videos with my iPhone 8, using one to share for more of 13. Pretty good video. Yes, it's 23 minutes long, but hopefully you'll get a takeaway from it. All right, that's all I have for you right now. And before I close out, anytime you want to get out of this window to go back to your editing, just click the X on it. It'll bring it back to you, your main window where you do all your video editing. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post out new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. This is Trish Bassini signing off. I'll talk to you guys the next time. Bye-bye for now.